I can't believe I just called myself historical. That's pretty fucking scary, actually. All I know is that this is a smutty romance and it features a blue alien. I don't know. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Shep and Rich. I'll be doing my end of the year book call. So before I get started, if you are new to this channel, please don't hesitate to subscribe down below as well as the notification bell. But it is now very much the end of the year. It is mid-November. By the time this video goes out, it's more like end of November. And I feel like even though I might get books in December, I don't really think it'll be a lot for me to do a separate book haul on that. So I'm just going to do my end of the year book haul right now where I accumulate quite a number of books since my last book haul, which I will include above and down below in case you want to check that out. I think I did one in the summer. So it's been a couple months now and I've accumulated like I said already a number of books so I think it's high time for me to dive into these books and just share with you guys what I got over the course of the last few months so because I don't want to make this video incredibly long I'm not going to spend too much in terms of describing what the books are about um, one because some of these are unsolicited by publishers so I don't know what they're really about and two it's been a long time since I have last read the synopsis that I can't recall everything so I'm gonna make this video pretty short and sweet give you a general gist and then let's call it a day so anyways the first book that i got is ring of solomon by aiden polydorus this came unsolicited by the publisher and this is out on february 21st 2023 all i know is that this is a middle grade book it says will zach and his friends with the help of a mysterious king of demons be able to stop the apocalypse and save the world so we'll see how this goes it's a very short novel so i anticipate this to be a very quick read next book i got also came unsolicited and that is when you wish upon a lantern by gloria chow this book is out in february 2023 and this is a ya contemporary book and that's kind of all i know it says two teens who are devoted to granting other people's wishes but are too afraid to let themselves have their own hearts desires each other so we'll set this good but this seems really freaking cute and i absolutely love the cover okay next book i got is from a book trade um but it's also because i've just been hearing so much of this series i am low-key pretty interested so i decided to pick up ice planet barbarian by ruby dixon i really don't know if i like this book or not all i know is that this is a smutty romance and it features a blue alien i don't know i'm kind of like skeptical about this whole like alien as a lover situation but apparently it's like really freaking good I don't know i've heard a lot of people talk about it on booktube and book talk so we'll see how this goes next book i picked up is also from a publisher that came unsolicited and that is nowhere better than here by sarah guillory this is a finished copy that i received and it says if you want to visit Bhutan, louisiana you drive south until the road runs out my grandma says that the road gets shorter every year so if you're coming you better hurry you're running out of time this seems like a very sweet coming of age book at least that's the gist I'm getting from it, so we'll see. It says, in a town slowly being destroyed by rising tides, one girl must fight to keep her community's spirit from drowning. Definitely looks somewhat intriguing. Next book I received was also unsolicited, and that is The Girl in the Castle by James Patterson and Emily Raymond. This is a finished copy that I received, and I want to say this is a thriller book. It says, I exist in two realities, and both are terrifying. One is now, and the other one was back in 1347. So I think it follows a girl who, or this woman who somehow exists in both timelines and i don't know how that will work out but it seems pretty intriguing plus i've enjoyed james patterson's books like back when i was younger like much much younger so i haven't picked up any of his books recently i want to say so i'm curious to see like how they've evolved from you know my middle school high school years to now next book i got is also unsolicited if i'm a publisher and that is stein stein tingley's stinglers by R.L. Stein. Um, this is obviously the author who wrote Goosebumps many, many years ago. I don't really know why I got this book, to be honest, because I haven't read his books in like since elementary school or something like that. Like I've, and I wasn't even a huge fan of it back then. So I got this. Um, I think they were trying to celebrate Halloween, so they just sent a bunch of stuff out to influencers, and I was one of them. So we'll see how this goes, guys. So a lot of these books I got are unsolicited, mainly because I've been cutting back a lot on my spending for books. The only ones I get right now are ones I pre-order or books in my boxes. Uh, so like Illuminate, Fairy Loot, stuff like that. Other than that though, I mostly get books from publishers or from trades. And from publishers these days, I haven't also been requesting any recently. So a lot of them are unsolicited right now. So anyways, the next book I got is also unsolicited. And that is Unseelie by Evolis Hoosman. 
Evelise Hoosman. I'm hoping I'm pronouncing that name correctly. This book is out in January 3rd, 2023. And this is a YA fantasy. It's about these twin sisters, um, but they are very different and they're both on the run. One apparently searches for a fabled treasure and the other one is a changeling apparently who searches for the truth behind her origin. And she's trying to find a place to fit in with the realm of the fae who made her and the humans who hunt her. I'm actually pretty curious about this book because this sounds so unique. The fact that they're twins, but one is actually a changeling slash fae. So I'm curious how that can, I feel like they're not actually twins. I think they just, they basically look like twins because one's a changeling that was made to look like her, but they're not actually twins. You know what I mean? So I'm curious about this book for sure. Then the next book I got was also unsolicited, but honestly, I'm so intrigued by this book because this is Send Nudes. This is actually a recipe book, a noodle recipe book by Chloe Godot, and it's illustrated by Alice Potter. But this is a really fun and cute book, um, and it's basically just a bunch of noodle recipes, you know, like vermicelli, um, mac and cheese, um, just different types of chicken noodle soup, just different types of like noodles out there all across the world. So I'm actually really excited about this book because it seems like it'd be such a fun time. I don't think I want to like read it per se, but I definitely want to utilize this book when I'm making foods in the future. Next book I got was from Illumic crates um and that is the blood trials by ne davenport i feel like i only got this book because they had a pre-order going on and i was like it made more sense for me to purchase more books in their shop to like lower the cost of shipping so i ended up getting this book <laughs> so i was like let me see what this is about it says i will not break or fail in what comes next i am proud of who i am and it also says magic technology and rebellion meet in this stunning debut it all i know is that this is a white fantasy and i'm excited for it also it looks really pretty next book i got was actually a pre-order and that is all of our demise by amanda foodie and christine lynn herman this is from the goldsboro edition this is the second book in the series i got the first one in their gsff subscription and then i was like i want to get the second book to kind of like match the series so i decided to pre-order this one that way i have a matching set i don't actually don't know what this book is about because i haven't read the first one yet and i have not read the synopsis of the first book in a really long time all i know is that this is a white fantasy pretty sure and yeah but either way that i'm really excited because i love the sprayed edges as well and the inside so really excited about this one next book i got is also from goldsboro and this is part of the gsf subscription and that is mind walker by kate dillon this is a sci-fi novel i want to say it says it follows an 18 year old girl called sil sarah who's determined to die a legend but with only 12 months left before the supercomputer graphic to her brain kills her her time is quickly running out i haven't picked up a good sci-fi in a while so i'm really excited about this one next book i got also came unsolicited and that is in the time of our history by suzanne parry this book is out in january 2023 i want to say this is an adult historical fiction and it follows a girl her name is suzanne parry whose sisters I like guess some sort of tragic death about her sister and now it's a one year anniversary and now she is dealing with her parents situation um, in the 1979 Islamic Revolution but it's set in the late 1990s in San Francisco and New Jersey so it's not really historical but like kind of I mean I was born that age like, but like still like it's kind of it's definitely different like set in the older days <laughs> that makes any sense i can't believe i just call myself historical anyways next book i got also came unsolicited and that is a diary of blood by st gibson this book i have no idea what this book's about but i want to say this is like a ya horror oh it's supposed to be about a darkly seductive tale of dracula's first bride constanta i did not know that dracula had a first bride but Either way, I feel like recently there's been a lot more like vampire books out there, so I'm pretty excited about this one. Next book I received is The Midnight Children by Dan Gemmenhart. This also came unsolicited, so I have no idea, but I want to say this is a middle grade book. Next book I received is from my Goldsboro GSF subscription, and that is Lost in Time by A.G. Riddle. First of all, I love this edge. Like, look at this. It literally looks like an eye right here. That's so freaking cool. And it's supposed to be set in the BC in Pangea, uh, where falls a quantum physicist trapped 201 million years in the past. And the thing is, Sam has helped create a machine able to unpick the threads of time, casting objects eternally into the past. And it's useful only as a permanent means of disposal. And in a world where criminals need to be punished, that's exactly how it will be used. But then his invention becomes his undoing. 
the judicial penalty for a crime that he confessed to but didn't commit and it's a death sentence so now he is basically cast into the past and is trapped there and it follows his daughter who is trying to get her father back and basically show to everyone that he's actually innocent because he didn't actually commit this crime i'm so intrigued by this book to be honest it sounds so fascinating the next three books i got are from book of the month one is small angels by lauren owen the next one is when we were bright and beautiful by jillian medoff and the third one is bronze drum by feng nguyen these are the three books i got um, i don't really know what these books are about at this point i think this one follows vietnamese sisters and war and it talks about like their freedom and getting independence this one's more about like magic and it's set in like england or something like a small english village um, about these sisterhoods first love and haunting so really curious about this one as well it's also about like secrets then this one is a family drama uh, set in the Upper East Side that follows the dark side of love, the limits of loyalty, and the high cost of truth. And it follows this family drama. And that's all I know about these three books. The next book I got is a pre-order and that is The Ballad of Never After by Stephanie Garber. I mainly got this one so I can get the matching dust jacket. I think it's like over here to match my first book. I haven't even read the first book yet but I wanted it to match so I decided to pre-order this one and see where that goes. But I probably will end up selling the second set I have because I do have have the Fairlu edition as well for this series which also is a set as well because I bought both of them <laughs> so I have two copies of the series this duology that I haven't read yet so I probably end up selling one of them most likely the pre-order version with the dust jackets we'll see but either way I'm very excited about this one next I got is Leech by Heron Enns this also came unsolicited but I did get this book in or I got the ARC in my ALA book haul I'll link that above and down below in case you want to check that out but this is a horror book and it follows this doctor who like died or something now there's like the replacement doctor trying to find out why this institute keeps having all these like lost bodies definitely some horror thriller uh sci-fi vibes for sure and the next book i got is bitter medicine by mia tsai this also came unsolicited and this one comes out in march 14 2023 uh it's supposed to be Xiangxia inspired contemporary fantasy a chinese immortal and a french elf navigate romance familial loyalty and a workplace demands i'm already excited about this book because it's like chinese mythology um like fantasy with a chinese immortal and a french elf which i'm kind of like that's pretty cool so very excited about this one next book i got is actually from a book trade but i want to get a nice edition for this one because i did have the arc which i ended up trading it out for and i got a book of night by holly black this is the fairy loot edition i believe yeah so this is the fairy loot edition and look how stunning this is and while i didn't like love love this book i definitely want to collect her books either way because i really like her books in general so i'm excited to see like the next book in the series and i wanted to have the fairy loot edition and that way when the sequel comes out i can also get this fairy loot edition and then i have the whole series next book also came unsolicited and that is waking fire by jean louise this book is out on january 10th 2023 it says naira combs village lies hidden beyond the desert safe from the power hungry warlord and his army of undead monsters until now and it's supposed to be a ya fantasy debut about a girl who will stop at nothing to save her poem and her people definitely interested in this book i haven't heard too much from other booktubers or any other book people so really curious about this one for sure next book i got also came unsolicited and that is the wizard always watching by stephanie perkins i think they were doing a like paperback edition for this and so they were sending this out i'm not really sure but it's supposed to be bears aren't the only predators in these woods and it follows these best friends and nina and josie where they spent high school as outsiders but at least they had each other and now with college and a 2000 mile separation looming on the horizon they will have one last chance to be together a three-day hike deep into the woods but then something happens along this wood and it leads them to a detour off the trail and straight into a waking nightmare really curious about this definitely has some october spooky vibes then i got my book of the month stash once again the first one is the most likely club by Alyssa friedland this one's about like i want to say this is about like a bunch of school like friends who were all voted most likely for something back in high school and now as they meet up many years later for some sort of reunion and they're now trying to see if they've actually like accomplish the most likely superlative that they received all those years ago i want to say something like that then the next one i got is other birds by sarah addison allen this book is an enchanting tale of lost souls lonely strangers secrets that will shape us and how the right flock can guide you home i think i got this book because i've heard like a lot of good things and it's very uh 
beautiful writing, I want to say. So we'll see how this one goes. And the next book I got is Love on the Brain by Ali Hazelwood. I obviously had to get this book because I love, love Hypothesis. So obviously I was like, I need to get the sequel. Um, obviously this is not like direct sequel. I think it follows a completely different couple, but it is like a STEM romance, which I'm all here for. And I can't wait to fall in love with more characters. So really excited about this one. Next one I got is from a book trade and that is The Song That Moves the Sun by Anna Bright. This book I added a while ago. Um, so I don't remember what this is about, but it's a YA fantasy. And it says, Laura is tired of being afraid, exhausted by a mind that sees everything through a prism of fear. And I also found another girl called Claudia who would do anything to ease her best friend's anxiety, but her own life has been spiraling out of control. Then they meet these two boys at a concert and discover something else. And there is like magic of the astrological signs and things kind of happen from there but i am so intrigued i remember something about like horoscope and astrology so i love astrology i think it's so fascinating like i don't believe in it but i think like the concept of it and there are some like not facts or truths behind it but there's definitely some coincidences sometimes when you listen to or read these horoscopes and you're like why did I explain me so well? So I find it quite fascinating and this book kind of revolves around that. So definitely here for this. Then this next book is one I obviously had a pre-order and that is Carrie Soto is Back by Taylor Jenkins Reid. I love her books. Her books are amazing. I believe this follows a girl. Her name is Carrie Soto who used to be like a, I want to say a famous like tennis player. Yeah, from tennis and she's been like amazing. Lots of records. And then one day uh, she's retired and I think there's like a new and upcoming tennis player who basically threatens her title as like the Grand Slam winner or the fact that she got 20 Grand Slam titles. Now she decides to come out of retirement to reclaim that title back and this book follows her. I'm so curious about it because I'm also like, bruh, your time has been long gone. I'm curious to see like, like I understand you want to like defend your title, but also like time passes and there is new talents and I don't know, like, anyways, I'm definitely curious about this book either way. Then this next book I picked up is one from a book trade, and that is Hooked by Emily McIntyre. Okay, this book is one that I've seen so much on book talk, especially with all the smut romances going on these days. So I'm really curious. I feel like I just want to know for myself if it's as good as I want to claim as it is, because there's so much hype, and I want to know if it's worth the hype, so definitely curious about this one then i got a book that is unsolicited from the publisher and that is beyond that the sea by laura spence ash this book is out in march 2023 this book follows these two families living through world war ii on opposite sides of the atlantic ocean and a shy irresistible young woman who will call both her own i haven't read any good historical fiction in a while actually like i picked up a couple recently but i was not in the mood or they were not good and so i ended up dnfing them all so definitely need to bring more historical fiction sometime soon and this might be one of them next one i got is from another book trade and that is the kiss curse by aaron sterling i don't even know why i got this because i haven't even picked up the first book which is the hex the hex switch or the x x switch something like that or the hex x the x hex that's what this book is so i haven't read that book yet this is supposed to be a sequel to that so We'll see. I don't even know if this is like a direct sequel where it follows the same characters or if it follows a different couple. I have no idea, but I've just heard so many good things about the first book that I am very intrigued. And then I saw this book and I was like, I'm down, I'm down, sign me up. Next book I got is from my Goldsboro GSFF subscription and that is Silver Under Nightfall by Ren Chipiko. This book is about vampires um, and it's also by Ren Chipiko, which I am really excited for because I feel like her books, ow, um, are either like, Okay, so some of her books are amazing. I've read one book that was like okay, but the rest were really good. So I have really high hopes for this one. But all I know this book is about vampires and bounty hunters or like vampire hunters. So definitely curious to see if this will be amazing. Um, I think this is her first like adult book that I have read. I don't know if this is her adult debuts, but I've only read her YA books before and they've, like I said, been all amazing except for one. Next book I got is also from Goldsboro. This is one that I pre-ordered and that is Stone Blind uh, by Natalie Haynes. First of all, I love the book. Look at the edges. It's so stunning. Um, but also because it's about Medusa and I love my Greek mythology that I'm like, anything Greek mythology, I'm usually like, sign me up. I'm so here for it. So very excited about this book. Next book I got came unsolicited and that is Stone Cold Fox by Rachel Kohler Croft. This book is out in February 2023. This is supposed to be a debut thriller where it follows this ambitious woman who wants to leave her dark past behind and marry the heir to one of the country's wealthiest 
families and I guess it kind of goes into that. She now has an art of swindling men. So I'm super curious about that. Um, yeah, so this book sounds really fascinating. And the next book I got is from a Luma Crate, and that is The Whispering Dark by Kelly Andrew. Look how stunning this book is. It is so pretty. Like, look at that. And look at the inside, too. Like, how beautiful is this book? Um, I don't know what this book is about, actually, but this is a Y fantasy. It says, Delaney always talked the dark, but now the dark talks back. That's pretty fucking scary, actually, but I'm here for it. Next book I got is from Fairloot, and that is Spells for Forgetting by Adrian Young. This is another book where the cover and the edges are so pretty. Like, look at this. All I know is that this is a YA fantasy, and it follows... Wait, is this fantasy? I wonder if there's fantasy involved in here, too. I feel like Fairloot tends to have fantasy. There's, there must be some sort of fantasy element in here. I don't know what that is. But it follows, like, mystery and this, like, lost love. So definitely curious about this for sure. The next book I got also came unsolicited and that is Seven Faceless Saints by M.K. Lobb. This book is out in February 2023. And all I know is that this is a YA fantasy that's supposed to be a murder mystery twist perfect for fans of Labor Dugo and Carrie Menescalco. I've only read Labor Dugo's books. I've, I've technically read Carrie's book as well, but it's very like okay. I did a whole reading vlog for one of her series. I'll link that above and down below so check that out. But I only read two of the books and then I end up DNFing the rest because I was like not interested in continuing so that was kind of an epic failure but check that video out in case you want to see my reactions for that series and my thoughts for the first two books at least um, but this will be fans for both of these authors and that's kind of all I know about this book next book I got also came unsolicited and that is Stateless by Elizabeth Wayne this book is out in March 2023 it's supposed to be a thrilling murder mystery set in 1937 Europe with intrigue glamour secrets and betrayal definitely curious I really like YA thrillers and I feel like there hasn't been a lot these days um, so I have really high hopes for this one. Then the next two books I got are from a series and that's purely because I've just seen so much about these two books, especially the first book that I'm like, I don't know why I haven't even picked up a copy of it yet. And that is The Spanish Love Deception by Elena Armas. This is a book that I got from Book Trade. And then the girl that I kindly book traded this with also gave me the sequel to that. And that is the American Roommate Experiment. I don't know if these are direct sequels or they follow different characters. I feel like they follow different characters, but they might be like friends or siblings or something from each other and that's how they're a series so yeah i just know these are amazing books apparently according to book talk so i'm definitely here to see if the hype is worth it then the next book i got also came unsolicited and that is tell me what really happened by chelsea sadoti this book is out in april 2023 all i know is that this is a y mystery thriller uh, and it follows these first person police interviews of four teens about what really happened to their friend i'm so intrigued like i said i really love Love thrillers especially YA thrillers um, I've read some amazing ones recently so I really want to continue on the trend with these upcoming ones so I have really high hopes for this one this sounds so freaking good then the next book I got is also one from a book trade and that is Stealing Infinity by Alison Noel or Noel this is a book that has been on my book trade for so long now I think I don't know when I put that up there. I don't know what this book is about. I just know this is a Y fantasy. And that's really all I know, honestly. It says, why borrow time when you can steal it? I want to say this is like a Y fantasy, but like sci-fi as well. Then the last and final book I have today is from the publisher, and that is Descendant of the Crane by Joanne He. They were doing a paperback promo for it, and look how stunning this paperback version of it. It's so freaking pretty. I love it. But anyways, I'm just really excited and stunned by how beautiful this cover is. So anyways, these are all the books that I received the past couple months. I have a shit ton of books right now. I feel like most of them were actually unsolicited by publishers, which I didn't realize while I was getting them that I have a lot from them. So that's amazing because I feel like I haven't really been requesting anything recently so I'm happy that they're still sending me these books that are hopefully up my alley and I'll really enjoy them but let me know down below which new books have you gotten recently have you read any of the books that I received recently and like which books should I prioritize first as always if you like this video please give me a thumbs up if it does help on my channel and if you see more content of me please don't hesitate to subscribe down below as well as the notification bell and as always don't forget to follow me on Twitter and Instagram and I'll see you guys next time bye